told all my friends, I'm like, this is it. And it was a great night. Like, we went to this fancy dinner that I paid for. And then we were, like, in this alley. And, like, I was rubbing his back as he vomited. And it was just, like, everything I'd wanted. And <laughs> he just got really sick and passed out. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, he didn't say I love you. I think he may have said I hate you. It's like, it was the worst time. But I was like, wait a second, when he gets blackout drunk, he doesn't remember anything he does or says. So I'll just make last night whatever I want it to be. So this is true. I, I woke him up the next morning and I was like, hey, do you remember what you said to me last night? He was like, no, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, no, you told me you love me. <laughs> and he was like, I did? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he started saying it after that. That's. I date raped my boyfriend into loving me. That's what I did. Thank you so much. I took back the night. I quit flossing recently. My dentist recommended it um, after I blew him. And so, <laughs> here's the thing. I have always had big teeth. It's probably the reason I'm a comedian. Before I got braces, I had buck teeth. And in middle school, people used to be like, Glazer, you're a beaver. And I'd be like, a vagina? And they were like, what? No, the gross animal in the, why are you excited about being a vagina? <laughs> it's like, I'm just, just psyched someone's talking to me. And then I'd go cry. So I have a complex about my teeth, and they're still big, so I told my friends this before I gave a blowjob. I'm like, I'm gonna scrape some D, I know it. And 